what's up everybody so i'm sitting here and i'm you know going over my content and stuff and i was sitting here thinking like i need to do a video on this because school is starting very soon for so many whether you're virtual or in your classrooms and i think this tip is so important and this tip is you need to set your boundaries teachers set your boundaries with your parents now you might be saying miss may what are you talking about i'm talking about learning how to cut things off from work and home you know i get this question sometimes and they're like miss may how do you balance out work and home so I've been there where you feel like all you do is work, 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 work. I got a wake up call maybe my fifth year into my into this career, and it was just like a wake up call. Like you know what, this is not worth it. You don't get everything done. I don't care how hard you work, it all doesn't get done. You know, you're answering emails constantly. You're answering phone calls constantly. Like enough is enough. So you have to set boundaries. Now. I use this app called Remind. And for a while there, Remind is an app. This is not sponsored. I've just used Remind for so many years. But Remind is an app where you can communicate with parents. There's an option to where you can let parents respond to you. And there's an option to where parents can't respond to you. So basically with Remind, what I use Remind for are like, I send tons of pictures to my parents throughout the school year, tons. And so parents can respond to those. I send reminds about when library is or you know, field day, just spirit days, all that good stuff. And I have it to the point where it was where parents could reply. Well, I started to feel overwhelmed because I felt like I was replying to parents on reminds and replying to parents through email. And it was just, it was too much. So, I decided that I'm going to just have remind as a a remind for me to remind my parents of different activities, not to where they can reply to me. If they need me, they can, you know, hit me on my email. This is where you have to be careful because if you come across as weak, and I don't mean this in a very unkind way, I just want to be very transparent with you guys and honest with you guys. You're gonna have parents who feel like that they can run your classroom, that can tell you how to do things, who think their child might be the only child in your room and you should be catering to them. And you have to set boundaries and you have to let parents know, mm -mm, not gonna happen. So you have to set those boundaries. So for me, like for, like for example, this year, what I'm gonna do when I send out my Meet the Teacher you know, newsletter about me, I'm going to put in that newsletter that I respond to emails um, as quickly as possible. I do not answer emails after five o'clock. I'm sorry, at five o'clock, I'm at home or I'm at my brother's house enjoying time with my family or enjoying me time by myself. I don't want to be answering an email at 5 30 6 o'clock 6 30 7 o'clock like that's rude like i'm with your child from eight o'clock to four o'clock like okay so i'm giving you until five now if a parent emails me at five i will i'll reply at that time if it's after five o'clock i'm not replying until the next day okay so this is where you also too have to set your boundaries with your phone number. Now, in years past, I have had no problem with parents having my phone number. Like most of the time, it's usually just my homeroom parents um, who like my homeroom moms, I mean, who have my personal number just because they need certain things. It's quick to text me and it's no problem. I mean, I'm still close with quite a few of my room moms from my past and they still have my number and they'll text me from time to time miss may how are you so i i don't i really don't have that problem but you will get and i repeat you will get a parent or two who will abuse your phone number unless you set the boundary 
like for example, you may get a parent who may text you at seven o'clock at night asking you a question about something, do they need something for the next day or do they just anything and you're just thinking to yourself, did you really need to text me that at seven o'clock at night? And do you really think I'm gonna respond to you at seven o'clock at night? You have to set those boundaries because if you don't, there will be parents, not all, but there will be some that feel like they can cross the line. I've seen it. I've had colleagues who have had parents be so rude and so disrespectful and it's just, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. Like if you wanted to come and teach this class, you should have went into education, got your degree and boom, <laughs> sign up for an interview and you can come teach this class. But until then, this is how I run my class. And you just, you just have to let them know you can be, there's a, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And when I'm speaking to parents or when I feel, I mean, in my I'm not going to lie. I haven't had many where I felt like I've had to be like, look, there have been a few that I've had to let know real quick. This is my classroom. This is how I do things because you'll get a parent that will threaten. Oh, well, I'm going to email the principal. Okay. More power to you. You can copy me on if you want. Or um, can we have a schedule of meeting for me, you, the principal, the assistant principal? Yeah, that one really is, that one's really getting old. I'm, going, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I get if I'm being rude and crude and evil and mean to you and your child, then you darn right, you better ask to speak to the principal. But because I have a certain setup and policy of how I run things in my room, you wanna threaten me with calling the principal, a meeting with the principal. Hey, let me know when to be there. I'm there. <laughs> like sometimes you'll get certain parents that think because you say, they say, I'm going to call the principal. You're supposed to be scared. Like, okay. I mean, whatever. I'm still going to tell my principal knows how I run things. I don't know. I just, parents will try some, not a lot, but some will try to throw that in there. And I've had Parent, I've had a couple, I've had about three that I can think of that have tried to pull the, let's have a meeting with your principal or let's call your principal. Like my principal knows my character. My principal knows how I roll. My principal knows how I am. My whole point is, is be very cautious. Start thinking about your boundaries. Are you going to let parents have your phone number? I know my first 10 years at my previous school, we had phones in our classroom. So I didn't have to worry about using my cell phone to call parents. I could use the phone that was in my classroom. Well, where I am now, I can't do that so much. So it's a little bit harder, um, you know, because you start six, seven and parents don't answer because let's face it, private number calls me or a number I don't know calls me. You're gonna have to leave a message because I don't answer phone numbers that I don't know. So I don't blame parents there. So you had to figure out, are you going to call parents? Um, and this is if you don't have phones in your classroom that dial out like that. You know, are you going to have parents have your phone number? Are you going to do Google phone? Like what, what's your policy? What's your plan? You know, and if you do give out your number and if a parent does text you at a weird time, this is what I would do. <laughs> not text back, not call back. And you wait until the next day and you call them back the next day during school hours, plain and simple. So I just wanted to get on here and just be really quick. I've been working on my laptop all day and I've been organizing for my next content video that I'm going to do, but I wanted to get on here really quick and just um, state the importance of setting your boundaries with parents. I'm not going to lie. There are parents that do have my number that still have my number that I have taught their children and they still keep in contact with me and ask me how I'm doing. I've had parents that have had my number and they've never called me. Like it's never been an issue, but I have had a couple that have truly, um, I feel like have abused having the teacher's cell phone number. Like I, I think it's been a little rude. So there's ways where you can get your point across is, is all I'm saying. So think about your boundaries. What are your office hours going to be for when you communicate with parents? Because there are times where sometimes during the day on your planning, that's a day you can't call a parent. Maybe, you know, you call them early in the morning before class starts. Maybe you call them right after buses or, you know, all your kids have gone 
home. You know, think about that. But I definitely would not answer, you know, phone calls and emails, you know, after a certain time because you have to have your time. If you let parents think that they can just call you whenever or email you whenever and you're going to just be Johnny on the spot every single time, you're going to be exhausted. And let me just tell you right now from experience, it's okay to set boundaries and let parents know your boundaries. And then once you set those boundaries, please don't get laxed with those boundaries. You know, oh, it's just, I'm just going to email. It's, you know, you know, it's six o'clock. I'm just going to email them back real quick. Well, you do it once, they think you'll do it again. And then before you know it, they're just abusing it. So be very careful on setting your boundaries for how you communicate with your parents, how you deal with situations that are, you know, that happen in the classroom and a parent, you know, communicates with you or let you know. I can't tell you how hard it is sometimes where when the email pops up on my phone and it's like, you know, in a lot of cases, it's nothing major. It's just something I can answer real quick. Boom. All right. Have a great evening. Hugs. But at the same time, it's like, Parents have to understand that you have a life outside of school too. You know, your life doesn't revolve around work and it shouldn't, that's not healthy. So again, if you are an experienced teacher or a brand new teacher, whatever the case may be, I think it's important that we set boundaries. Yes, I'm very friendly with my parents. I'm not gonna lie, but I have boundaries too, you know? And that's okay to have boundaries. It's totally, totally okay. And after a couple of times when you're not responding to an email at seven or eight o'clock at night, parents have realized, okay, I know I'm not going to hear from them till the next day. Okay. Sometime the next day. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you and just let you know that it's important that you set those boundaries with your parents because you will have some that will try to abuse it like I sometimes I just think like do they really understand that they're texting their child's teacher or calling you know I because I just like growing up I just can't imagine my mom texting or emailing or calling my teacher at night like I don't I don't know or you know what I mean or on the weekend and like seriously like you have to set those boundaries you do so I just wanted to get on here really quick, guys, and just um, say that to you guys. I have a video coming up probably tomorrow. So two videos this weekend because normally I try to post on Fridays, but I was a little under the weather. I just wasn't in the mood to get the camera out and all that good stuff and do a video. I just I just haven't been, hadn't been in the mood, but I did want to get on here and just kind of talk about set those boundaries, okay? please set your boundaries think about that once you get those boundaries established keep them in place stick to them and you will have a much more smoother relationship i feel with your parents like i said i am very sweet kind loving to my parents but i do set boundaries because i have a life outside of teaching their precious babies so Thank you, love, so much for watching. Don't forget, I, I really honestly don't say this, but y'all, this truly does help. I'm not going to lie. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share, it's greatly appreciated because you're helping me and you're helping me for free. You don't have to pay anything to do that. You just do it, boom, 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 boom. But yet you're helping me. You're helping me create more content and that's what I want to do, create content for you guys. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will say, guys, I don't know what's going on with my comment section, but when I reply to people, everybody's not getting their reply back. And then YouTube the next day will show me the same people that I just commented to um, the day before. So I've been in contact with them. Hopefully something gets worked out because this sucks because I love communicating with you guys. So just know if you see, oh, they got a reply, but I didn't get a reply. Trust me, I'm replying, but they're not all showing up. So mwah, just know that I love you guys so much. So as always, don't forget to always pray because God will make a way. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.